Um, first of all, I need to say that uh, my name is Marilyn Scott. I am a member of Christ Emmanuel Christian Fellowship and proud to be that. Um, I need to give glory to God because he is a mighty and faithful God in my life. When Bishop called my name Sunday, I wasn't quite sure how this was going to work out. But I knew that it would work to the glory of God because that's my aim and desire to honor. In 2004, I purchased a home for my daughters and I to restart our life uh, after the death of my husband. Um, during that same time, our economy was tanking and hadn't hit rock bottom yet, but we'd had lots of economic problems. Uh, being the mother that I am, I put my kids first and I wanted to make sure that they were moving forward from our loss. Well, 2010 rolls around and I've not found a job that I have consistently say um, is going to be a regular paycheck and going to provide for our needs. I start negotiating with our mortgage company to uh, make some arrangements about the high payments. And after that, um, I thought we were I'm sending in all the paperwork, I'm at, everything they require, I, I provided for them. In January of 2012, I received a foreclosure notice. And I wasn't quite sure how to handle it. I shed some tears that night. But in the morning, I did what the saints do. We got up and praised God and trusted Him. And I called one of my prayer partners for 30 years and we met and we talked and we prayed and we made our petition known and that was it. But there was some more work that had to be done. So I went through, contacted an attorney, I met with the attorney, I dotted all those I's, crossed all those T's, and I still found myself on, my way, on the way to court. All along, God, you told me that I could trust you. You told me to count on you. As a matter of fact, verbatim, you said, Marilyn, I not only have the girls, but I have you. I got you. So I'm standing on his word, standing on his promises, know that he's faithful, and, and believing this is not just for me, this is for somebody else. And I didn't know who and I didn't know how it was going to work out as far as how this testimony would be shared. What the end of this was, God had already showed me. And even though it's not completely finished yet, I walked into court with God on my side. The judge said, uh, there's got to be something that the mortgage company can do for me. And they didn't do anything for me. And so he made a decision in their behalf. So therefore, my house was foreclosed on in the summer of 2012. They set my house for sale for January 2013. And I received notification in August saying, where's your payment? And I called my attorney and I said, what are they talking about? And he said, whatever they're talking about, we're going to pay them. <laughs> and so we did that. And all along the way, doubt and fear had to have a say. And instead of listening to doubt and fear, I listened to the word that I believed and I trusted. Everything about the God I serve says what he told me. Marilyn, I got you. So therefore, even though they put the house up for sale, they set a date. It happens to be a Sunday, and I was in church that Sunday. I made the payments, the arrangements that they had said they sent in the mail, which I had never received. And I talked to the attorney, and he said, we'll do it. We'll do exactly what they say. So I did that. And after I did that, he got another email that said, Marilyn, <laughs> they've canceled all of this. This has been dismissed. And I asked him, what do you mean dismissed? And he said, you go back to paying your mortgage like you always did. The equity in your home is still yours. Everything in it is still yours. 
And so what I said to him was, I knew the devil was a liar. We've been through these challenges before. We've been through trials before. But God has been faithful every step of the way. And I have even I had even said, you know, Satan, I don't know why you would try me. We've been through this before and I'm victorious then and I'm victorious now. So, Lord, who was this for? Because I trust you. So when Bishop called my name after I told him that the foreclosure had been dismissed. I knew this was going to be an opportunity to reach some people who didn't know Christ like I know Christ who hadn't walked with him like I've walked with him, who didn't understand. His word is true. He will never fail you nor forsaken you. We stand on, we're a house that does not lack. But if you read a few verses down, not only do we not lack, when we go through the valley of the shadow of death, he would be with us. And for the saints of Christ Emmanuel and all those that see this video, when you go through the valley of the shadow of death, God won't abandon you. He won't fail you. So my house is my house. Everything in it is mine. I return to it regularly after Sunday. <laughs> and few of you have even come to visit me in my house. But it's not just a house. It's the gift that God gave me. And it's a gift that nobody can take from me. And since he gives all good and perfect gifts, I'm expecting for it to be paid for soon. No matter what, no matter how, no matter who, I'm expecting the title deed in my name because that's the God I serve.